Or here's Chris. Thank you. With me now is the conditioner of the one to five shot, cathedra.com, Chris Ryder. And Chris, uh, welcome to Delaware. Thank you. It's my first time here and uh, we're having a great time. A lot of difference in the atmosphere here at Delaware County Fairgrounds compared to the big uh, New Jersey circuit that you usually race on. Yeah, a lot of difference. Um, you know, I guess it's got the best of both worlds. But like you say, it's a fairgrounds and um, everyone's here to enjoy it. Uh, you know, and you've still got good horses here and a uh, nice racetrack. And it's just a good day. A lot of atmosphere, that's for sure. Everybody's probably going to notice your accent and they're going to say, what about the background of that fellow? Where are you from? I'm originally from New Zealand. I was born and raised in New Zealand and I've been living in the States 11 years. What about the racing background? Racing is a lot different in New Zealand even now. Yes, it is a lot different. Uh, they race over long distance, they have bigger fields, uh, different race bikes, and uh, the training, the training's, uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit different, but not entirely different. You know, you basically still got to have uh, your, your horse in um, good condition and, uh, you know, good, good care. Were your early lessons all taken in New Zealand, or did you just get the harness racing bug when you came over to the United States? No, I was uh, mainly, you know, most of my early training was in New Zealand because my father had horses, I was raised with them, and uh, I was just always with them. And, uh, but, uh, you know, when you're training horses, you're continually learning, so I've still learned a lot over here. Sometimes I see you in the race bike, and I see you handle cathedra.com in her very first appearance on the racetrack, and that was back at Pocono Downs on July 21st. In what situations do you drive? Uh, fairly often drive the two olds in their first or second start, especially if we're not uh, at the Meadowlands or you know if we're away from from New Jersey. Um, mainly because um, just you know green horses, we don't want them abused early, and um, you know and then I also drive at other tracks. You know if we can't get a, a good catch driver. She was second in that debut, and what did you think about her as she came out of the race? Well, I was very happy with her that night. Uh, the track was deceptively slow. Uh, it had rained heavy, and the, it was the track was as, as you know more or less as bad as it could be. It was very deep, very heavy, and she closed into it. And um, 58 that night was it was a good mile. You know, she didn't ra waste any time breaking that maiden. She won in her next time out, and she's been winning ever since. But she's been doing it all on the front end. A one-way horse. No, she's not one way at all. Uh, obviously, we expect her to be on the front end today, and uh, you know I'm really looking forward to seeing her on a mile where she um, where she won't have to be on the front unless she's a heavy favourite. Which that's the only reason really why she went to the front at the middle ends in her second start and cut the mile because she was such a heavy favourite. And um, but you know I'm very confident. I, well, I'm, I will be very confident with her from off the pace. She is once again the heavy favorite here today, one to five, and certainly deservedly so. Talk a little bit about how she came into your hands. Well, the owners are Samson Street. I train a lot of young horses for, the elegance I've trained for, and um, who else is the owner there? Newman, of course, excuse me. Uh, I trained for Jonathan as well, and they bred her, and they, they brought the mare to race. And then they bred this filly, and uh, they just gave it to me to train. You know, I, I trained a lot of babies for them. Early on, did you know you had something special? Yeah, pretty much. Yes, she's been correct. It's been a pleasure from day one. And um, obviously, through the winter time, we we always liked it, but you know, never asked them for speed at that stage. So you're really unsure how fast they are. But she's always been very nice filly. Chris, she's the swiftest in the field. One fifty-four and two. Can speed alone dictate the outcome of this race? Yes, no problem. I don't. I'm, I'm pretty confident. You know, a horse race a horse race, but uh, she's in good shape. All right, on those words, we're going to let you watch, and I'm sure uh, you're going to enjoy this one. Good luck. Thanks very much, Chris. Chris Ryder does.